guess what? I just got back from Ulta. No, I'm just kidding. Not really. I am not kidding. I'm just really not kidding. Really. But I am. Okay, so what I really just did was, um, I just had dinner with friends. My husband cooked a wonderful, wonderful dinner with friends. And, um, that was after me and one of my girlfriends went and went shopping. And so I have a small Ulta haul. And then a pretty bag this year. Look how it's red and white and it's got little white snowflakes. Isn't that pretty? That looks so Christmassy. That's really, really, really pretty. Okay, so what did I get? Well, first of all, I want to do a shout out to, what was her name? She wrote it on a receipt. Um, Rachel Lynn. Rachel Lynn. Go find her. She will only have one video. And subscribe to her. Hey, let's show her some, some Beth Buchanan subby love. Let's show her what we can do, y'all. Um, cause she's just trying to get started. She says, but I only have one video. I said, that's okay. Go home and shoot one tonight. She goes, I don't know how much time I have. I said, I shoot them in 12 minutes. Of course I do four parts, but anyway, um, so her name is Rachel Lynn. Go look her up. She has beautiful, like red hair up here and it goes down to like a, a burgundy and then like a dark pink. It is so pretty. And she's got such a beautiful complexion. It's really unusual, but in artsy and everything, but she's so, 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 so pretty. So, um, I told her, go look at my, that I would be videoing and to go and look for it and that I would give her a shout out and I would review what I got at Ulta and also a shout out to my friend's son, Zach. Here's part of what you do in YouTube. YouTubers support each other. So please subscribe and like this video. Yes, Zach. And when you get your channel started, I'll do the same for you. Um, yeah, you know what I like about the YouTube community is it's very uh, reciprocal. It's very selfless in the sense of, you know, people who like for like and sub for sub. It's just kind of the mentality of trying to help each other get going. You know, get your channel, you know, get some traction. Um, again, I don't ever intend to necessarily be a famous YouTuber, but um, we're just having a good time. But it is fun to see your number grow. I'm up to 80. Yee! Okay. I know that's another one of those that you're saying, but don't ever make that face again. Just, no, don't. Okay. <laughs> okay, so, <coughs> uh, first of all, something I'm loving. Well, this. This is the most refreshing drink, y'all. It's um, LaCroix Cran Raspberry Sparkling Water with two slices of lemon and two slices of lime. And it is so healthy and refreshing. I mean, you know how when you drink something and it's sugary and you just drink more and more and more of it and yet you never feel quenched. And that's because of the, the excess sugar. You don't, you're not really quenching it. the thirst. You're just pouring in sugar. Well, there is some natural sugar to citrus drinks, certainly the lemons. And uh, I don't know about lime. I would imagine so. But, um, and even that sparkling LaCroix. I didn't check, y'all. didn't check nutritionals. I bet y'all know more about it than I do. But, um, this just, it quenches my thirst. I'm just, I'm loving it. So, anyway, thought I'd tell y'all about that as I straighten my bracelets. You know what's so weird? I wear so many bracelets, and yet all I ever do is straighten them. Because, like, I like to keep certain ones to the front and certain ones to the back. And I do that all day long. Look how many I have. And I have to keep them all straight. Oh, I wish I could do that with kids. Keeping them all straight. I'm just kidding. My kids are all straight. They're all wonderful. Um, okay. Oh. It's one thing. Yay! It's the Le Chateau, the Grand Chateau from Too Faced. Remember, I just gave away the Grand Palais. I know you're going, give it away, give it away. <laughs> but anyway, we'll just see. Let's see. Um, we're already going to be giving away a palette. But um, this one is also a limited edition dollhouse. And it's another pretty little house. Only this one um, contains, um, three little individual instead of the big palette that I gave away on the Grand Palais. This has got three little ones. Um, and it still has the, 
Deluxe Better Than Sex Mascara. I hate these names, y'all. Please have non-sexual names. Why do you have to have sexual names? I know everybody wants to look pretty and look sexy. I get it. Because we're just trained up that we have to look sexy to attract a partner so that we can get married and have babies. And, and then most people don't care about looking sexy to their partner anymore. And that's the biggest mistake is that even after you get married, you should still keep trying to look attractive. There. I'll step off my soapbox for the day. But... At the same time, part of being married is accepting people um, as they are, just like friends, because your your marriage partner really needs to be your best friend. I mean, this is somebody you're going to be with through thick and thin. And um, really the closest person to you. And um, so you want to be able to be comfortable in front of them, too. So, no, I don't think that you have to have on your very best makeup look all the time. But I do try to make sure I touch up before I go home from work so that I will look pretty for the person that I care about the most what they think how I look and that is my husband um I am just noticing my eyeshadow because when I'm in Ulta I'm usually in there three to four hours usually and I was only in there for an hour this time it just wasn't enough but I have so many different kinds of makeups on and some of it's already worn off note um I did try the Too Faced I think it was called something wild no something the king blush and I really loved it. And I used a big It Cosmetics brush, blush. And I put it right in here. And I was so purple from putting so much of it on. Now it may be the bright lights that make me think I don't look like that. And you're looking at me going, no Beth, we see it. <laughs> you look like a little clown. Because I do. Every time I come out of Ulta, I tried so many things. Because you know they give you the little applicators and spoolies and little lip gloss. Little things that you can dip into the testers. And supposedly, if everybody uses that, nobody gets germs. Anyway, um, so I'm always testing everything. I test a beautiful, it's not on right now. This is my Gucci that my boss gave me. Um, but isn't that cool that I have a boss that gave me Gucci lipstick? I'm so, like, surrounded by people that are like me. But anyway, uh, and um, so I tried on a lipstick. I think it was actually called Wham by um, Too Faced, and I loved it. Loved the color. I think I'm going to have to go get it. Y'all know I don't wear lipstick. I always wear my Lip Intense by Chanel, which lasts six hours. And this is already coming off. Lipstick just comes off. That's why it just doesn't stay on me. And I know some of you say, but Beth, you don't bother to lip line. Even when I lip line, it's still, it just, there's no staying power to lipstick. And I am, I have all these little, like, look, look at the lipstick on my glass. I don't have that when I use my Chanel. But this color was so beautiful. I have to go back and get it. Payday! After I pay my bills. After I pay the things that I agreed to God that I wanted to do for charity. And then. And savings. I gotta get more serious about savings. But after that. <laughs> also, I'm gonna go back and get the new Lorac Pro. I forgot it was called. But it's navy colored. I think it's called Laced or something like that. I don't remember. But y'all, it's got the most beautiful orange in it. Why me orange? I don't know. I fell in love with that palette. But this was the last one of these. So, uh, and they are limited edition, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to get that. And my friend taught me into it. <laughs> she said, you know, you came here to get that, you know you did, and you also came to get your um, It Cosmetics uh, No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. That is the longest name. But yes, I always have to have a backup of this. This is a backup, but I always have to have a backup because it's the best and I can't be without it. Nothing else stays on like it does. Nothing. Now, I've heard that the new Ofra one does. That's what um, Kathleen Light says on her channel, which I do trust her, and so I am going to seek that out at some point and try it. But um, this I can get locally. I don't have to, you know, if I want to get it locally, I don't have to order it because Ofra, I don't know that is Is that in um, Sephora maybe? I don't know. It was not in Ulta. Well, I don't think. I didn't see it. But anyway, <laughs> there's about two billion kinds of makeup there so I'm sure oh, I didn't see that <laughs> the store is at least a football field log and they just redid it all it's so pretty they put um benefit right in the middle and it's the cutest little makeup bar it's so so cute it's where um pure minerals used to be uh oh I wonder if they got a spanking anyway I didn't see them but I'm sure they're there I think they probably just agree to move some of the real estate around in there depending on who's willing to invest and make it look cute because the girl that was actually doing makeup on people, uh, ladies there, she looked at a roll. She had four colors in her hair, but it was so well done. There was like a burgundy, a pink, a white, and a 
mm. something else, blondish. So I don't know. And, and then she had a little bow right here, and she, it was short and curled, kind of like the fifties. It looks so cute. She's so cute. Okay, so y'all saying Beth, quit talking and, or keep talking, but open this box. Okay, so I am. I don't know how to open it without breaking it. I wonder if there's a way to open this that it's, um, I don't know. Because it's supposed to be like a dollhouse, right? Is that the lid? Okay, so should you got, get one of these, go ahead and just pull that up. And it's down in there. There it is. And I'm just going to turn it upside down. hope this is the right way to do this. It's not coming out. Oh, come on. Okay, I'm going to have to go in from the other end and push it. Push! Push! Oh, maybe I'll just push out that end. Ah! Always pull it out the bottom. <laughs> There's something for life. Isn't this I'll pull, put it on my face so you can see the size. And I bet you the lid comes off. Roof, yes. And then there's a little piece, I think, that's stabilizing it. I can't tell. Oh, here's the little front doors. And, uh, yep, yeah, they're magnetized. This reminds me. Do y'all remember this one over here? So similar. Uh, there's the mascara. Okay, so this does come off the top. And then, I guess this is going to be like a little closet. Does this come out? No. Okay, so it doesn't come out. It's little. It's not big like the uh, Grandpa Highway. Thus, Grand Palais and the Little Chateau, or Le Chateau. And then there's one called La Maison, which means little house or house. And um, this has three pages.